Yaakov Avinu fights an epic battle against Sorosh al this Malach of Esav. And in the end, he's victorious. And the Mepharshim see in this a lot more than just an individual's battle against the Sarosh Leisov, but in Mais Abu Simon Levanim, it's the Parsha of Golos, it's really a message for Yaakov's descendants, for all of Klal Yisrael. But as the battle comes to the end, there's a very strange exchange that takes place between the Malach and Yaakov Avinu. Yaakov's pinning him down, and as a last ditch effort, although unsuccessful, he hits Yaakov in the thigh, and finally he beseeches Yaakov, please let me go. And Yaakov refuses, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And then they get into this whole discussion about names. He asks Yaakov for his name, and then apparently he blesses Yaakov by telling him your name is no longer going to be Yaakov, but now it's going to be Yisrael. Why? Because you battled, you waged war against man, against the Malach, and you were victorious. Yaakov then asks the Malach for his name, and the Malach responds, Why do you want my name? There's one point that stands out besides the overall discussion about names, which seems surprising. And that is that the Malach is telling and relaying this message from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that your name is no longer going to be Yaakov, it's going to be Yisrael. Why? Kisarisa. Because you fought, because you battled. Is that really the essence of the name? What happened to the Vatuchal? Yaakov Avinu was victorious. Yaakov Avinu won this epic battle. Isn't that the point? Why is there a focus so much on the Visarisa? There should be more to it than just the battle, but it's the what's the outcome? And it seems to be that that's exactly the point that the Malach was making, and that is exactly the significance of the name Yisrael that Yaakov and Klal Yisrael ultimately possess. And that there are going to be battles coming up. And there's going to be a lot that happens in your lives. And your daughter is going to be violated in Shechem. And there's going to be the ensuing reaction of Shimon and Levi. And perhaps the greatest challenge of your life remains Yaakov. When you lose your son Yosef, there's going to be so much going on. And how you address the challenges and difficulties in your life is going to be what separates you from everybody else and what determines your fate. Vatucha, whether it succeeds or not, that might be out of your hands. But the effort that you put into it, how much you engage how much you try, how much is the visorisa, that's what is in your control. And that's the message that the, ya- that the Malach was giving over to Yaakov, not just for him, but for Yaakov's descendants as well. The name which lives on is B'nai Yisrael, not B'nai Yaakov. We are descendants of that Yisrael, because in every generation we're going to face battles. There are going to be challenges. And nationally we may have to fight for our existence, and certainly every individual faces challenges as well. And there are going to be different moments in life, whether it's health, parnasa, challenges raising children, whatever it may be. We're going to have to react. And what those reactions are, are in our control. What the outcome is, is not always in our control. And sometimes we could give up and throw in the towel. It's too much to handle. Who says I'm going to get the outcome? But Yaakov Avinu teaches us. HaKadosh Baruch Hu leads, you're Yisrael. You are people who will do what is right because it's right. You'll fight the battle and you'll have a muna. And you'll have an understanding that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the one who's going to determine whether there's going to be victory, whether there's going to be that batuchal or not. That is what is being asked of us. How much effort did we put in? That's the name, that's the message of leaving out the batuchal. It's all about the visarisa. And if Aaron Salvechik, Zechon Racha added one other point. Even the language of his Sarisa is interesting. Why not Vinal Khamta? Why not that there was a, a war that was being waged? So if Aaron writes that it's significant, the difference is Nilchamta, he writes, you have fought implies becoming involved in a conflict entailing physical force and verbal strife, which is carried on with the aim of crushing and subduing an opponent. But the Sarisa, though, implies striving towards leadership. It's driven from the word sar, a leader. A leader tries to attempt to arouse the latent good. And that's really what our challenges are about. It's about challenge them. We can't always subdue it. But if we can take that energy and figure out how to use it in a positive way, that is the ultimate in what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from us. We are B'nai Yisrael. We are the children of Yaakov, but carry that name Yisrael. And just like Yaakov Avinu was able to fight 
and was able to put in the effort, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu blessed those efforts. So too, that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from us, to put in the battle, to rise to the challenges, and then hopefully HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bless us with Vatuchal, that we will be Menatzeach, that we will win, that we will be victorious, and we'll have the outcomes that we want in our lives.